Even though it's glamorous on television, in reality, um, not many people want to spend money on dead, dead people. Autopsy pathology is so important um, when it comes to, to COVID because it's essentially it's a novel presentation, and I mean that's what autopsy pathology is built for. It's 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 built for sort of finding these things out and looking for yourself and, and, and determining how the virus is affecting different organ systems. The autopsy is the perfect way to actually look at all body systems to see how it's affected. Not just the lungs, which is a thing that most people think about, but in the microvascular changes and then how it kind of leads to stroke and, and in venous thrombosis and, and a whole spectrum of things. And you know, when it comes to new variants as well, that's a question that we have to ask ourselves. That are the new viral variants, are they causing a different pattern of microvascular disease, for example? So that's why you know, um, autopsying these patients, in, in my view, is, is, is really important if you can do so safely, and, and I believe that we can. The contribution of the actual viral infection to their death might be vastly different in some people. The COVID infection is only a, one part of a, a number of uh, factors which has resulted in them dying. And, and often it's not clear without an autopsy um, what is the primary op operative factor in some of those you know, more subtle cases. I think some of the, the misconceptions are that we can always come up with a cause of death straight away and everything kind of happens quickly and that everything is black and white. There's lots of tests that need to be done and you need to consider the balance of all of those things. And sometimes you might not be able to say what the very precise thing that caused that person's death is. I think probably one of the other misconceptions is that we can always determine a cause of death. We have an, a category of autopsies which um, the cause of death will be undetermined after we've done extensive investigations. The COVID autopsies that we've done here won't we'll take an hour. Obviously, um, we sort of wear sort of full PPE and bits and pieces. Sometimes that just makes things take a wee bit longer. But the autopsy bit of itself, you know, that's only the first part, really. The histology reporting, for example, the, the work that's been done in the micro lab to sort of confirm the infection and, and whether we can not just identify the virus in as a factor of swab, but also in lung tissue and other specimens. That kind of hour is only kind of the tip of the iceberg really, there's lots of other things that need to be done before the whole thing's complete.